Hello guys, this is Mauro from Brinfotech.com and on this video we'll be taking a look at the new features and changes included on Windows 10, build 18.237 and all the releases back to 18.204. These are new test previews, part of the 19H1 development for Windows 10 version 19.03 expected to release in Spring 2019. There hasn't been a lot of significant changes in the last five builds, but I just wanted to share what Microsoft has been working on for the next update. Now let's have a closer look at the new changes. Starting with build 18.237, the sign-in screen on Windows 10 has been updated with a new acrylic effect, part of Fluent Design in the background, as you can see it right here, which according to Microsoft, helps to focus the attention on the sign-in task. On built-in applications, starting with build 18.234, the Snip and Sketch app has been updated, so now you get options to delay the snip for up to 10 seconds. So now when you click the uh, menu button, when trying to take a screenshot on Windows 10, you will see three options, including the Snip Now, Snip in 3 seconds, and a Snip in 10 seconds. Also, since build 18.219, Windows 10 introduces a Sticky Notes version 3, and perhaps the biggest addition is the ability to sync your notes across devices, and they will stay backed up on your Microsoft account. Once you set up Sticky Notes with your Microsoft account, everything will look similar to the previous version, including the way that you create notes. With the difference of the new organizer, with a search box to find all your notes. The notes looks really similar to the previous version as well, but with the difference that when we open the menu, now we get a new interface to change colors, open the organizer, and to delete the note. Also, there is even a new color theme, which Microsoft call it charcoal. While these changes are only available on Windows 10 devices, Microsoft is also planning to bring sticky notes to Android and iOS devices. But the company hasn't announced when that will happen. So that's pretty much what's been going on, at least visually, for Windows 10 version 19.3, also known with the codename 19H1 development. Remember that you can always support the channel by clicking the PayPal link in the video description to make a contribution. If you found this video useful, remember to hit the like button and leave your comments. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and click the bell button to get notifications when new videos are published. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.